creating what we call a level playing field. No? So that so that women have as many opportunities as men do. We also in this work, the LGBTQ movement is also part of this work. Inclusivity, inclusivity is when we're doing this. We can't sit around and make fun of that community. We can't make fun of disabilities. We sh this is rights based. Disabilities is a rights based issue. It's not a charity issue. Yeah? It's not a charity issue. It's about the rights of people. So the work that you do is really important for you all also. And I just love you people. You are young people. I wish I was that young again. I started doing this work when I was 32. No, I was 32 when I started. I wish I had started earlier. I wish there was all this information around. I would have had more time. I'm now 66, you know. And I just feel, every day I feel it, when is my life going to end? You know, I don't want this work. I want to continue this work. I want to see some changes in this work, you know, and things like that. So you have this great future ahead of you. You can be the change, you know. Roshika Deo, you people know her, she always says, be the change, yeah? You can be the change. You are the change. You are the people who are going to do it. And that is, if you believe in human rights of people, of all people, regardless of race, religion, uh, sexual orientation, sex, gender, abilities, disabilities, whatever. That's what you have to believe in. Equality, what you want for yourself, you must want for other people. Talk about human rights. Human rights come with responsibilities. You know, there's a whole lot of hate speech going on at the moment. You can stop it. Don't be bad, bystanders. Don't contribute to it. You can stop it. Freedom of speech, we all have. You people love freedom of speech? Yeah, you want to express yourself, freedom of expression? Some rights come with limitations, yeah? You know, some rights can, and freedom of speech is one. When I say things, the things that come out of my mouth must not hurt you, must not violate your rights. That's right to your responsibility. Yeah? So human rights is the way to go. You believe in that, you learn about it, you can go a long way. Okay? So, we've talked about violence against women, we've talked about violence against girls and children and so on. I want to hear from you now. What are your issues? What are the, is there anything you want to talk about in this area? In the area of ending violence against women? Are there some ideas you have? Do you feel that you are neglected in this work? Do you feel you, have, you want to be part of this? At the crisis center, I'll just talk a little bit about that before I give it over to you, is we are a counseling service. Our core business is counseling to survivors. Anywhere, 24 hour service. We also contracted by government to run the toll free line. Remember to write it down. You all come from all over Fiji, give it to the women in your community. 1560. It's a toll free line from any, whether Digicel, Vodafone, uh, landline, wherever, right? So it is anywhere you bring from, it's a toll free number. 1560. Put that down here and give it around when you go back. We are 24 hour service. We've got branches in Lambasa, Rakiraki, Ba, Nandi, and of course Suva. Right? We do that, we do a lot of advocacy and lobbying. So once a person comes to us, we are like a dog with a bone. We don't let go of it. We'll make sure the police do their duty. We'll make sure the courts, legal aid, whatever, whatever. We'll do everything till the woman says to us, thank you very much, I can do this on my own now. You know, so that's empowering women to, you know, to take control of their lives. We also have community awareness. For those of you who go back, you want people to come and do workshops in your um, areas for young people, for whoever you get in touch with us. Wilma here is my colleague and she looks after all of that and will arrange and so on. We have a small budget, so if you get people together like 25, 30 youth, even 50 we have done, in your area and you want us to come in, you write to us, give us a budget for transport, for food and so on, and we will respond to that. And 
now it's time to go all over. A group just came back from Yasawa, they were there for a week. We have programs. Anyone from Lomé here? Or anywhere? Okay. No? <laughs> okay, so, okay, there. So, we've got a good program in Koro, we're hoping to go to Naosun and so on. So, all those areas, Rutuma, we've got Rutuma, one plan for Rutuma later this year, where Wilma will be going. So, if you want us to do this kind of work with you, or even train some of you to be able to pass the message, you're very welcome. We leave our phone numbers with you. You're very welcome to call us or email us. Okay? And we've also got a Facebook page. You can go there and put in your request if you are on Facebook. I am not on Facebook. I'm not a, I think if I was on Facebook, I'd be responding to all the comments that are coming in. So it's best I'm not there. But if you are, our people are administering our Facebook page and you will get to us. We do that, we do research, we do our own publications, produce our own material. We have a Pacific program in 30 countries, Pacific Women's Network Against Violence Against Women. We've got a very good male advocacy program. And if any of you men want to be part of that program, let us know so you help us and you're part of the work that we're doing on eliminating violence against women. And we do a lot of advocacy, that is why when you said you're on TV all the time and so on, that's part of advocacy. A lot of changes that you see is because we have been saying the same thing for 35 years. So now we are seeing a lot of people are coming on board, a lot of people are wanting to do this work, faith-based organization, um, the Turani uh, Corps, the traditional chiefs and so on, people are coming on board. The government itself is now making speeches about ending violence against women and has now a national helpline on that and so on. It has got programs, violence-free communities. Are you people aware? Do any of you live in a violence-free community? 